all started lockdown, but previous to that, I always had a love for outdoors and like everybody else, childhood, grandma, grandpa, teaching you how to grow food. So today I will take you along with me with my jobs in the garden. of things happening here today what i will do i want to transplant parsnips i have parsnips everywhere um i left the plant in the autumn and scattered everywhere uh, looks like we have lovely grapes this year my corn got wild strawberries are coming along very nice i can believe this i'm hoping i'm hoping it's what it's meant to be here um these are foxglove they're like a peachy color i don't remember the name now but yeah i know i have um, white and purple in the garden but i don't have peachy so when i saw them in bdm i was just okay fine um again i need to make like a cage for the cucumbers today So yesterday I transplanted some of the red bell peppers here. These are seeds from a red bell pepper I bought, I think, from Tesco. And give it a go, why not? Um, here we have um, beef steak, I think. Yeah, beef steak is saying there. And the other one, I think. I forgot the name of the other one. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I think was. Oh, I didn't. What's happening with you? Astra. Something snapped it. And I'm just seeing a slug just eating from my. Um, focus eating my plant that's amazing something out of you not food for you out okay so one is snapped one of the nicest one and one is just a snack for a snail or a slug what was this one <gasps> and this one doesn't look brilliant I think they're munching on my what's happened and i have all this i know they are good for the soil but i have too many of them <sighs> I tell you now the choice ah, and i lost the slug 
the joys of a greenhouse. Um, I think everybody struggles with this. But I lost that slug now. And of course, I can find it. I couldn't throw it outside. Yeah, apparently, if you come in the evening, you can catch them munching. But now it's not evening, really, it's morning time. And I still caught munching on my peppers. Yeah, so I think I'll bring some eggshells on <sighs> peppers. So I can't believe this was the best days. Oh, okay, so in the bin. I can't believe that. No, replace. I know I planted peppers in the same, but just for now, till it's hot outside, because my plan is to take the peppers out, really quite out, out of here, out in the garden. I look how many, and I know these ones are eating my um, um, strawberries too. <gasps> the slug. Snail slugs out, out of you. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't nice to see at all. <laughs> I think we all get so upset when we see that our plants are just snacks for. Oh, look at this. This is so sad. There's no chance that will come back nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, things like this made me upset and I will not give up I will never give up but it's just I know with my strawberries would be a snack for all this wild life I know we all have a place under the sun but please can I eat my strawberries okay I take care of them just you go and eat something else in the garden please oh I'm so upset. <laughs> I when I'm watching videos, everybody are saying the same. I'm so upset. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we get so upset. Okay, now you want to see something? You see this? This is a slug. Okay, hanging or I think, I don't know from where it's coming this dude. Yeah, he's just hanging on his own snot. Okay, yeah? Are you joking me? Hello. It's not the circus, mate. No, acrobacy, please out. So now I will take you from your snot. Yeah? And I dropped it. Of course, went in my pot. Hey, out. Are you choking me? <sighs> Chew. Okay. Have a reunion. Okay, so we know now, like everybody else, even my greenhouse, have slugs and other creatures plus I don't know if you have it but I got rats I almost knocked down this greenhouse and I'll make a video about that one day I dig the side and I plant I place those plastic things in my head thinking oh no rat will dig so far no yeah they do they find a way they sneak in they're eating everything for that that's the reason I got in my strawberries because I, li I like them. They're really nice, these strawberries. I started from four strawberries my husband bought me from a garden set center in Wheatland. Um, yeah, I didn't mention I live in Pembrokeshire, <laughs> but this is Camartonshire, uh, Wheatland. And I started with those, and I have a hundred, and even I gave away lots to my friends. Um, I'm thinking to do this year that pallet kind of thing. So I have a few pallets around mm -hmm. hanging out. But again, if they are out, I know the rats will get them. Squirrels, rats, birds, anything. And also pigeons. They're doing my heading too. Yeah. I 
will take you in the garden where I go and I start transplanting some. Um... Oh, that's a cute one. Transplanting. I never had one of these. If I can take it out, this is Nasturium. Nasturus. Nast I don't know how you pronounce that. But look at that. Just screw like that. Like I have poppies growing in the stone because it has some poppies inside here. And this, this is quite variegated white and I don't know. So we plant it outside. I just planted another two in here and they, uh, I see they picked up. And I just do like this a hole and plant it in there. Let's see, maybe likes it more in the soil. Yeah, I found this one and I found this one. Now we have a <laughs> green and white one. Okay. okay. I'll pick up these tools. I, I tried the snow dig method, but because I also work and I do gardening, I don't really have the time to keep on top of the weeds. So my beds are all like covered in weeds now so <laughs> could be dig <laughs> for no dig okay this is my back garden here was full of bramble uh one day i should show you before and after yeah so every way around here was full of bramble i planted lavender of course because i like it i planted some brown turkey figs from wilco a few blue blueberries plants um yeah so my husband bought me this arch and i love it with this wisteria one is white and one is purple never bloomed in fact it's the third year only no second year second year this one uh, it's hanging on the apple tree i see apple tree didn't bloom yet it's a beautiful view but i see our lots will be amazing can't wait for the view well, okay, uh, so many things to show you. Here, this onion is the onion from last year, so this will make flowers and make seeds. I haven't planned to eat it by that time. Oh, what's the worst here? It's because this Bruce Bruce, it's uh, shaking all the needles. And like always, the rats are taking my onion out and things. Okay, let's with this camera yesterday i planted some broad beans plants and i cleaned that bed okay let's drop this in here mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i planted these broad beans here i planted mint and last year i had chard rainbow chard was here still some in there um I hope these broad beans will pick up and I had a plant in fact there was a radish was scattered everywhere and look so these are my beds uh, they're all covered in weeds okay so yeah no dig didn't work for me and they was looking nice I think if I go back in the pictures you'll see the bed was looking like yeah I was like in a graveyard here and it was like one two three four beds and three, no, four this side too. So I have some potatoes where the rats already gone and munched. Yeah, you can see. They digged and they took out how much they could. I have, of course, parsnips everywhere. Um, there are the white mustard plants in there. I put. It's just everything everywhere. I don't know. My grandma's garden was another. I don't have the flower. I love it. But anyway, going back to here, yeah, I have sorrel and I want to take get rid of all the but not all because look, parsnips plants everywhere in between the weeds. So I will see how I will weed. This is red sorrel from a garden center. I bought three plants of this and I love them. I wait them to pick up. So, what I want to do today is to take all these parsnips plants. Uh, not these ones here i have like a membrane you call it so i don't think if they will push through the membrane and you know develop the root so i want to pick them all up yeah like that i have lots but there's a massive one in here 
I just love it. Yeah, you see how I'm going around. Oh my god, okay. Yes, so that I have in plan. Yesterday I picked up some, but I supposed to go with my dog to the um, groomer, so I abandoned the project but i put them in the water here so i start planting and they picked up nice i love them they're there yeah that's lovage um that's angelic ivy called some hydrangeas this garlic is again there's patches all over in my garden and i just spread them along here um that's the old chicken coop i don't want the chickens in there anymore it's packed with rats and don't think i put lots of poison i spent so much money on poison and i haven't planned today to go again trip to wilco buying some more poison i'm sorry but they are eating everything i can't plant any more than um sage oh i love my little bit of sage in here this had like three years so this garden started yeah three years ago when it was the lockdown oh we have some Plums, prunes, how you call them? Oh my god. Yeah, there was the wheelbarrow. I have another tiny bit of garden because it's sunshine. And I will show you those are like pots, usually supposed to be potato, but like I said, because of the rats, I just need to think twice what I plant in this garden. Oh, I love this. Survived. It's my rosemary, and I have lots of rosemary in the garden. I love it. Yeah. So I think I will start doing all, picking up all the parsnips on the membrane and plant it. Another job in this garden is weeding, like in every other garden, of course. And these buttercups, they spread and they become a pain. They grow exactly like the strawberries. They grow babies, look, and they aim for my lavender. Uh, so I will get rid of them. Okay. It's easy because I have a membrane underneath really easy to pull them out but in the beds they're just a pain so take them like that and go straight in my bag and go for the compost of course and again i got lots of ivy and lots of i forgot how it's called helicopter something like this round leaf is everywhere okay so let's pull that out that you don't want the buttercups in your garden no 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 there's another one popping out here of course very brave go back and there's another one up the hill there I don't mind the ivy on this fence, so if it takes that way, it's fine. Just, I don't want buttercups. Okay, no buttercups, please. And no grass, please. Okay, look, it's coming underneath. Just plants always found a way. So this heliotrope thing grow like this massive massive roots and they will make their way out of any membrane you put down when i put a membrane i work so hard and i thought oh this would be lovely oh look another i don't know if it's a parsnip it's not parsnip <laughs> i think i picked up all the parsnips scattered around here yeah it's just a constant battle with these weeds and of course sycamore seeds 
I bet everybody got them. And like I said here was Bramble. He, three years ago was Bramble everywhere. And it's a constant battle with that one too. It looks better now. Where I left my tool. I, again, <laughs> I did the same thing. I leave my tools behind or God knows where. Sycamore seeds and I saw some buttercup here. I don't, I don't mind the trim roses. It's nice to have them, but I just don't know. And I have this uh, Hawaiian, Hawaii, Hawaiian honeysuckle is called, I think. I have lots in the garden. And yeah, another one poking from here. Yeah, I put these bags and I have lots, lots of, uh, oh, there was a bark I bought that year, but it's not enough. It's always needing some more. So yeah, I need, I need strength today because I want to clean a few of those beds. So what will be, be left behind will be just hopefully some radishes, the sorrel I planted and will be left behind some these parsnips oh babies yeah but it's a lot so we'll be weeding 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 a lot so no dig is no dig by pull up the the weeds okay <sighs> my lavender almost died this year i know what happened it was so cold we had uh, an arch there but of course in three years got rotten and felt yeah, so lots of weeds today. I hate weeding, but today will be one of those days. I need to weed. And it will look so much better in here than after that. Because I want to plant out from my greenhouse um, lots. Red pak choy, red God knows what, lots. Uh, so yeah, let's start that one. Another job done off camera today. Well, I didn't plan it, but was to celebrate that grass of this bramble. It was all growing and killing my lilac. And still I got something in there. Okay. I got rid of most of it. Of course I used an axe because it was really, really thick. don't look very well um but looks so much better now all around i'm sure we'll shoot back this one got it too it's a lot and this one oh god bramble i am sure after i die this garden will just be covered in bramble of course yeah so <laughs> i gave up i had enough of um popping out weeds in the beds not much done today one bag but i couldn't stand one more day to see that grass covered in bramble like that so now i need to get rid of this
grumble everywhere. show you what I've done today so I cleaned maybe 40% of those beds <sighs> I used the shovel I used that tool to pull out buttercups and god knows what other weeds okay so still lots to do but I left some of the parsnip parsnips I love violets or something like that. Don't know what they are called. We in Romania we call them nostre, like buttons. So I don't know what they are called. Yeah. So still lots of weeds. I need to go oh, through all of this on and on and on and on again. Okay, parsnips go in. Oh, I love parsnips, and I know I tasted these ones. They was amazing. They go big. Um, yeah. So. Violas in between them, all my lion sorrel I bought online and the uh, red one, lion and the red sorrel. And here, now, can see I use the shovel. <sighs> yeah, I replanted lots of parsnips, garlic, my potatoes, rats. I hope they all keep away. And I finished here. So tomorrow this will be the job. This one, this here, uh, and this one I think so. The mint and God knows what's in there. So I will weed all this tomorrow, but I'm happy with the result. I here. So I have like a. This was the old path to this area, because here everybody dumped all the sofas. God knows all the furniture from their flats. So I made here my compost area, that's from last year. I have another compost area around there. There was the chicken coop with my silky chickens who died this winter. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the result. Of course, I never wear gloves and I have got to take my rings off and I didn't want to lose them in the garden. So I move, I will move now this barrel, this wheel barrel. So I will start there, some compost by the wall. That's a very shaded area. I need to set fire to that cardboard. Yeah, so see you soon, guys. Happy gardening, everyone.